What's going on, people? What's going on? We back. we back. Straight Chemistry Podcast Season Four. We back in the building. Okay, looking a little different. Turn, turn that beat up a little bit. Turn that beat up yeah, a little yeah. bit. To my left, I have my boy. Y'all know who he is. T to the H, R to the D. C. Halley is in the building. Hey. Hey. I'm on that oh. slime. Look, look, look. Slap it, 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 slap yeah, yeah. <laughs> cue back up for you. <laughs> yes, sir. Cause it's a real nigga in the <laughs> no, <laughs> the the realest niggas in the world. One of the realest niggas in the world. Okay, the king. Wait, right? wait. <laughs> <laughs> he said the one of the realest niggas in the world. Terrell, T Rizzle, how you doing, bro? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Also, we have an announcement, y'all. We have an announcement, you know. I'm gonna restart this beat for everything, bro. You know, we we, we Zeke Zay, you know, y'all may not know who he is. It's y'all first episode, but Zeke Zay is also part of the crew. You know, Ezekiel, yes. he's in the background doing audio work right now, but he's gonna show his face at a later episode. All right, and we have another member that joined us, the Queen. You know what I'm saying, it's Toronto Queen V Vina. Okay, she will also be joining us at a later episode. Just wanted to let y'all know that it's more than three people. Yes. Y'all, y'all see three. Yes, you see three but, now. But, but it's it, it's five niggas. It's five of us. Well, five Don't people. worry, you see it. No, no, I, I had it right. Five niggas. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I had it right, but this season. Hey, well, niggas, stop. Why are you this, doing that? What am I doing? And we got, look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look. Hold on. Y'all see what he got on. It look like a new one. Fresh out the pack. Uh, why you gotta give me that window? He said, he look way, way, look. That sound look gas. Hey, it did look key. <laughs> but you know what? You know. Wait, you know you're trying to come from my. Uh, anytime, you know what I'm saying, you get heat and gas. Make fire. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, well, you know we, what I'm saying? We here. I got Durag Daddy right here. We got Durag Daddy with us as well. Yo, Daddy, man. Yo, Crazy yo, yo. Back for season four. Three, three six in the season building. Season four. Yo, yo. Told, we promised you. Are we here? All y'all right, ready? Y'all. We promised. We Let's promised. get it. Before we get into it, we want to let y'all know that you can find this episode. Well, if you're watching on YouTube, you can definitely find it on YouTube. Yes. You can also find us on all audio streaming platforms, Spotify. We're on it. Google Podcasts, we're on it. Yep. Apple Podcasts, we're on it. On it. All your streaming platforms that you use, we are on we're it. Okay. On it. We want to go ahead and let y'all know. Subscribe to each one. Right. And you'll see a little thing down there at the bottom, right at the bottom. You know, we're on all those platforms. We're on TikTok oh. too. TikTok too. All those would be right yeah, there. Yeah, go ahead, subscribe. Right at the go ahead, hit the notification bell. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So all that. know whenever we post. All right, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Yo, we in it. How y'all doing? First off, I'm doing good, man. I'm feeling good. Starting a new season. It's good to see y'all. Yes. It's good to see us. Yes. Yeah. It's good to see y'all, man. That brotherhood. That 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 that. that wow. Y'all, we made it talk. through three seasons together. Yeah, I three need y'all. seasons. I need y'all. We need it three this seasons. season is going to be different than all the other ones. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm so pumped and I'm so ready. I'm ready. To it's get gonna be exciting, content. y'all. Y'all not even ready. They will be. <laughs> once they give us, once we give them. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. But before we get into it, um, did y'all want to give a brief overview of who we are? Just one minute, thirty seconds. <laughs> so, so, Yo, this, this kind of about is an individual or you want as a group? Just, just we can do oh. individual. Yeah. All right. Just, All right. Make it brief though. This All kind right. of equivalent to when 106 of Park used to tell them uh, why they should buy their album. The artist would <laughs> be on there. Be like, you got ten seconds to tell them why they should buy your new album. Go. We'll be like, oh. Yo, did they look? He used to have a timer too. Yes. While they was talking. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about, bro. We're gonna put a timer in. Okay. <laughs> so I, um, I'm I'm. Look. Yeah. Wait. So we're gonna do ten <laughs> no, seconds. We're no, gonna do ten no, seconds. No, no, just give it a brief. Uh, um. 
Who are you? <laughs> Did this is people first time listening and watching. My name no is T to the, the H, H R to the B. I sing, write, I secure things. Okay. <laughs> I secure bags. I secure buildings. Security. He secures the bag. So he I secures security, the bag. Exactly. And I hope to write one of your favorite songs one day. He, he will. Yeah, exa- exactly. He won't be modest, but I'm not being He will write one of your here. favorite songs tomorrow, as a matter of fact. I'm not being modest over here. Pin game crazy. My boy Tristan. You know Thanks, bro. Had, like, Thanks, bro. All right. I'll go ahead and His go. pen literally shoots fire. Okay. Yes, All right. yes sir. All right, y'all. Yes, please. Sir. All right. You can't yes, get sir. it in the store. Wait. Right. Okay. Homemade. Uh, per- uh, authentic. Perusy. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, but Handcrafted. my name. My name is Perry, but I also go by Preezy Beats. Um, I make beats. Let's I go. produce a little bit. Well, not a, not a little bit. Don't I, sleep I, on me. Like, nah. you, you trying to... Nah. What are you doing produce, that for? Yeah. My man's this man got like been three cooking hours beats tub. up three since... Three hours in the tub. You waiting on He came out the womb. Three albums. Mm. Three he, albums. he came out the womb, and his hand was on a beat machine. I don't know how they did it. That's a little unsanitary. <laughs> Just it was new, a brand new beat for a new bear. For oh. those of y'all that's just looking at the YouTube, looking at the YouTube video, I'm probably not going to ever take this do rag off. I'm just I'm gonna keep it a buck. That's why we call him do rag daddy. I'm not going to ever know. take. I'm not going to ever take it off. But we're gonna go ahead and get to uh, Terrell and bless you, Tristan. Bless Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. I'm gonna have to edit somebody saying bless you in there. <laughs> 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 well, I'm gonna get the button to say bless you for me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh. Yeah, that would be funny. But my name is Terrell. Mm-hmm. Uh, I produce, okay. I mix, uh-huh. uh, uh, engineer, yes, um, rap, yes. Um, oh, well, not not just rap. You know, sing, what I'm freestyle. Okay. Let's be freestyle. Let's, let's let's make that known. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of brothers don't I know said, how to. I said my guy going to the booth without a notebook because it's all. I will. Head. I will. It's all up here in his head. I, do, I, I will I just want to say Proper preparation Prevents poor performance Also so. mm-hmm. right. P-P-P. Be prepared to freestyle You P-P-P. feel me PPP But alright Wait wait what <laughs> <laughs> He said uh, uh, oh, oh, Proper preparation yes, yes. Peter Piper pick Okay got it There we go <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it I miss y'all Let's get it Alright uh, uh, Cancel culture so we're getting real, right into we're it. getting real into it. We're getting right no, into it. No, we're not it. holding back this season. Hold on, hold on. We're right? not holding back. All right. Okay. What yeah. is that? All right. I don't know if I'm the best person to explain <laughs> this. <laughs> no, can- well, cancel you- culture. Well, you know, cancel culture is when essentially maybe somebody does something bad or in the eyes of the media, they do. Oh, you. <laughs> I was laughing because he, he was about to cue He was about to cue song Right back up Yo, no, no, go ahead though <laughs> Terrell, I thought he was about to cue uh, oh, he was trying Cue to the song in. the back I thought he was about to redo the intro again <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lucky Lucky, I'm first play, bro The J started, I said, oh shit. <laughs> Oh, I thought she was. I Look, thought, cancel culture right here. <laughs> I, I thought she was. Get trying me to, up out of here. Okay, cancel culture is essentially when you have an artist, you know, you know, an actor, whatever, they do something that's bad in the eyes of the media, you know, social media, and social media people essentially cancel them, meaning, you know, they're not looking for them anymore. They're not, you know, supporting their music, mm-hmm. you know, shunning them, mm-hmm. basically. That's essentially what cancel culture is. Like, I'll give you an example. Um, we all know R. Kelly, you know, and everything like that. That could be considered cancel culture because of the stuff that he did in the past with underage women. You know, people essentially cancel him, so they're not supporting his music. They're not looking for him. Now, in saying that, I do believe that, can- that people can cancel people for no reason. I don't think that every cancel is war- warranted, if that makes any sense. Shoot, some of them, some of to some, be honest, what what is cancel are. culture? That's the question, right? <clears throat> yeah, question. is cancel culture real? I think, and yeah, that was the question. Okay, like, okay, is, is it real? It is. Mm. The magnitude that people put it at could be sometimes misleading, because like. Trying to think of a situation. 
I guess like if you're doing something that's like going against the grain, mm -hmm. they can consider that as oh we should cancel you to the or compared to like something of R. Kelly or like like you're doing like a like a crime in a sense. Like so like would six nine be someone who's cancel culture? But let's talk about what 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 warrants being canceled. Like that's that's what I'm trying to like, get. At. But what 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 warrants being canceled? Like oh, we don't have to cancel somebody just because hitting women. Hundreds hundreds of people say to cancel them. I think hitting women. It comes down to you because I was like yeah because if we're just going off of like Timmy uh, stole a candy bar, we're gonna cancel him from now on because he's, he's a stealer. He's a stealer. And just to be clear. We are talking about celebrities in general, right? Not just no, yeah, we're just musicians. talking. We're talking about okay. musicians are celebrities. I know. I'm just saying we we not we talking about outside of just music. Though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but um, okay. That being said, I feel like hitting women it has gotten people canceled, and I feel like uh, cheating ha has it though. Some people has it though. <clears throat> yes. No. I don't, I don't Famous think. Dex. I don't think it has. Famous yeah, Dex. Right. He like. Beat up his girl on I think it's on cams I don't know But mm. Basically like He was trying to You know it, it It put a halt on his career Pretty much Like he didn't He wasn't able to Excel Into a A more main A more Mainstream Sometimes uh, Do you think Sometimes cancel culture Can be beneficial Cause some people Bounce back from it And it Gains more Like Yeah it's almost like a marketing tool. Like future, like future. I do feel like if hundreds of people are trying to cancel you, it's that can bring hundreds of people to you because they're yeah. trying to figure out, well, why was he canceled? Mm -hmm. And yeah. then that in turn can generate more money for you because more people look looking at your music, more people looking at your video. Like legit, I'm going th like the guy that was uh, we were talking about a couple weeks back the. Um, he was a, like a guru. Oh, oh, was, oh, I was gonna bring him up too. I was gonna bring him up too. Was, I had no idea. Sean Jackson. Or something? I don't. I don't know. I don't know who he is. I had no idea who he was before that. Me, exactly. me either. Me. But either. it got my attention because it was everywhere. Like they were talking about canceling him, and just for the you know for the, the stuff that he did. But before that, I didn't know who he was. But now it's like yeah. I feel like he's he, profited he's off gonna, of that. He's gonna he's gonna flip that for sure. He's definitely if, profited if he hasn't off that. already. So y'all believe it's real? Cancel culture. I believe that uh, I don't believe that cancel culture is real because I mean at the end of the day it's still going to be people that support them at the end of the day there's but still going to be people mass, that you want following. that mass though you want that mass following mm. that mass appeal that mass appeal mm. especially if you're in the limelight like that mm. you want that mass appeal I feel like that's what mm. I think this. I think that cancel culture was something that was started on social media. I don't honestly think that it is really it, exists. Is it the same thing as being blackball? What else? Well, that's social media's version of trying to blackball you. I feel like oh, okay. The whole cancel culture thing started on social media. <clears throat> yeah, and but it's kind of generally just still based there. My th my thing with it is like. Who gives people the right to cancel somebody? Like, some people I feel like are wrongfully canceled. Like, I'm going to ask y'all this. This may be a little controversial, but do y'all feel like Michael Jackson should be canceled? Cancel culture was trying to cancel him. Now, when it comes to, in like, that, the, that magnitude, because it's cases involved. It's cases involved. Even though I have a different viewpoint about that it's just like when it goes legal it, I, I guess the conversation is different because we could talk about i guess another person could talk about like the black my black lives matter movement and talk about certain cases that happen and be like mm. i feel like that wasn't justified yeah i remember people was trying to cancel <clears throat> certain restaurants and mm -hmm. you know that didn't really it seemed like so, that didn't last so y'all, y'all both of y'all say that it does exist. It is real. I think <clears throat> yes, it's a real thing, but it's not like this. Uh, this thing that, like, put it like this, right? You can say stuff on social media, mm -hmm. but it doesn't always translate to real life. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like, it's real. Okay. 
It's real on in the internet. Spectrum. Yeah, a lot of those. Okay. Okay. Top three fast food restaurants. Go. Man, let me tell y'all, man. Well, oh, he about to talk. <laughs> All right, you know. All right, so. Wait, is this something we have to? I feel like we have to agree on at least one. Mm, do we? Mm. That's not not for the a certain spot, but just this that is, has to this be on is the list. Your list. I'm about to say Perry already know what he like. This right, is go ahead, your Perry. list. Because I don't, I don't, I don't go know. Ahead, go right. ahead, do Ray. All right, we're gonna put Chick Fil A up there. Number one. We're gonna have to put Chick Fil A up there. Number one. Uh, for number one. Yeah, I say number one for me, right now. Uh, you gotta put McDonald's on there. People talk, people talk shit about it, but I mean, but at the end of the day, your ass is going to McDonald's to pick something up, regardless. Uh, McDonald's. Third slot. And then my third slot, I'm gonna have to go Wendy's. I'm gonna have to go Wendy's. That's my top three. Mm. What about y'all? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, y'all, what, what y'all got? Uh. Chick Fil A number one. I I I understand. Look, I understand. Convince me. I understand. Convince, bro. But they, no, they, they they're, they're they're not open on Sundays, and they still make more money than all the fast food restaurants. Okay. Why? The, well, we're just the, talking about the food, though. Or are we talking about service and everything? We just we talking about overall. Take okay. I didn't know that. Take know all that. that out and go off <clears throat> of your experience. The service is immaculate. Okay, <laughs> bro, the service is immaculate, bro. You already know if you go on to McDonald's, you gonna get some. You gonna get somebody with a damn attitude that don't want to be there. Half ass do shit. They look. Last time I checked, if I want some damn ice cream, if I want a milkshake or something like that, if I go to, if I go to Chick Fil A, it will be delivered and it will be delivered with a smile. The person will have a smile on their face. They will say my pleasure, you know what I'm saying? Good manners. And I ain't gotta worry about the machine being broke down. You go to McDonald's, what? I know I said I know I put them in my top three. I did put them in my top three. But you already know they machine always be down. Like they ice cream machine. I want some ice cream. I want a milkshake, they machine always down. They will hit you. Well, this is how I feel. Okay. I feel like it's disrespectful for you to be in North Carolina and you not have cookout on your your top three. Bro, I, I was gonna say the only thing I can I, say. Not, the only one I can say is cookout. I don't know what else to say. I, I don't the cookout's know not on my number one. But it's, I'm just saying. I, it's on it's, my list it's on for sure. List. It's, it's on my list. It's for not sure. on my top three. It's you on wild. my list. You wild. Pay, on my pay top mad because they don't give him a bag. Or <laughs> 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 <All> strong. <laughs> <laughs> they made him rude, rude ass customers. Uh, so Perry just be going for the customers. Look, he no, could bro, he could pull no, up for a water and Perry, be like, Perry, bro, you gotta go. If you want good customer service, go to a restaurant. Overall, you feel no, I'm gonna go to Chick fil A because <laughs> they have the best customer service ever. Y'all, like, y'all, nigga, what? Oh my god, name me. He name, really just going for hold on, hold on, name put you in the drive through. Wait, wait, let him say it. Let him say it. Go ahead, name me another fast food restaurant that has the immaculate service at Chick fil A. Sonic, acting, I'm acting like I work there. Hell no, they roll up to you. I remember somebody tried to skate to me and they failed. Dude, they no, no, wait. Because they do it. Like they was trying to get it. No, I, I'm just joking, yo. <laughs> hey, I got one though. I oh got, god, I got one. I got one. They can rock with. Uh, All right. What Nick, do you say? What's your other two? I don't. <laughs> I don't have. I don't. I, I, there's no other two. Two. Two more. Oh, I didn't even finish mine. I was gonna say. Oh, um, I'm bad. I'm sorry. Okay, so <laughs> it's definitely Mc, It's McDonald's. Cookout, Popeyes. Okay, Popeyes. Hey, Popeyes for me. I can't have McDonald's on my list, bro. Because I just yeah, dog. it's crazy. I never. That y'all talk so much. People talk so much mess what, about McDonald's. You got to give it we to roll, them. Bro. You go to McDonald's. I never there. actually. Choose if it's late, to go late. There. I never actually choose to go there. You. What, what do you mean? Well, it's a bad decision you made. Bro, it's the only know, decision you know, you're gonna have to make. You know, on Summit Avenue, it'd be like Cookout McDonald's. I go to Cookout basically every time. Unless somebody else with me, like I'm not, I don't ever choose to go to McDonald's. How how many times you been to McDonald's in the last few uh, months? I I don't know. I, I, yeah, maybe too, too, too many to count. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> I just realized what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. But now ask me about cookout. I'd have been so cookout's just your I number go to one. I will go to cookout 
for lunch at work and eat cookout again after I come home for dinner. Man, nothing going to tie Chick Fil A for me, man. I want to. I want to say Sonic. Perry's not even eating that Chick Fil A. He just go <laughs> going to say hey. No. <laughs> going, hey, how you doing? Nah, no, I, def- no, I definitely eat there. <laughs> I definitely eat there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, how's your day? Immaculate service, bro. Tell oh, me how man. they not even open on Sundays, but they keeping up with everybody else. So look, this is it right here. Because everybody hold on. else open seven hold on. days a week. Because I got the one that can compare. Who? I got the one that can compare to Chick Fil A, right? Okay, say it now. Biscuitville. Hell no. We gonna end it on that. Wait, well, how not? Y'all, nah. We gonna end it on that. We have a new segment, y'all. This yes. season four, we got a new segment called "Convince Me." So, how this segment is gonna go? So this could, uh, this is gonna be like everybody has. A certain I'll say person Or thing that they're going to Support and try to Convince everybody in the Group that they Either I guess it's a certain angle that they're trying to get them They're trying to get the positive out of them because Everybody's think it's a negative Yeah, Basically like my Like my co-host was saying Mm. Everyone is going to have, whether it be a musician, an actor, you know, someone who's in the industry, you know, music, acting, whatever. And we have to convince each other that this person that we have is the better person (coughs) out of the entire group of people we are discussing. So we could be a thing too. It could be like a show. Yeah. TV show, whatever. Yes. We can't do one, a person per person, but we doing young black actors. All right. This 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 one we're doing young black actors. We already have. Was it under the age of thirty? Yeah, it was yeah. under the age of thirty five. Yes, not under the age of thirty. Under the age of thirty five, we already have our selected actors. Mine is Daniel Kaluuya. Get him in here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mine is going to be Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I feel like we need to like do two sides and have a mediator. So Michael B. Size. And Daniel Kaluuya. Daniel Kaluuya. Right, so I'm going to be the mediator. Smacking. Then. All right. Oh, my bad. I'll mediate. <laughs> I'll mediate. <laughs> so, what? Okay. What is he smacking? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting Michael B. Jordan up out of here. When it comes Put to some talent, on Michael B. talent. Name. Okay, what what's the name? Michael B. Jordan. What's the B stand for? Better, better. Man, you better be glad. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it. This, I'm trying to keep it clean. <laughs> but uh, no, let me stop. Um, okay, Tristan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like this. What's, what's your, Tristan, I think he's getting it. He's why, getting it. Why do you think? Why do you think Daniel get, Kaluuya is a better actor? Than Michael B. Jordan. Give me three reasons. Go. Okay. Take away Michael B.'s sex appeal, which can add to a, a great acting performance. Uh, Will Smith. Um, I guess Brad Pitt or people like that. Like it, the sex appeal adds to their acting, so it could create like whatever they're saying sounds good because they're just look good. Okay. I don't think Daniel Kaluuya, like, in my opinion, I'm not trying to judge the man, but, like, I don't think he's, like, like, in the list of sexiest man alive. So, it's just, like, he's, they're focusing on a, his... He's a good-looking man. Okay, well, okay. I think so, too. He's, I think he's a good man. But they're focusing more on his acting. And brother, brother comes through. Brother comes through. Bro, you're not going to tell me and get out that scene where he was sitting in that, that chair. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. And he, and, and he look, couldn't move. Girl was just like sink. He was like, no, 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 sink. And then that nigga, bruh. You know, practical effects. You know, can add to. I ain't gonna lie. The performance. So. I was, bruh. I but was that's one. There. That's one. I was in there. What's your next reason? Okay. Brother is British, and we didn't know until let's, after let, Get Out. Let, let's take that out. An actor is an actor. Doesn't matter where you're from. But he was I mean, British, and we did not know until after Get Out. I mean, Perry. You we have, didn't even know about it. You have to consider that, like, they didn't get anybody that of, was American. That's a part of like 
you know what I'm saying, the formal training of being an actor, learning like different uh different uh accents and things like that. I know you seen that movie with Will Smith when he had an accent. And a lot of, and nobody liked that joke. Well, why are we bring that? I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up cuz I know I know you was one of the people cooking this thing up. <laughs> so accent matters. Having an accent uh, definitely matters. We might have to do a versus with Will and somebody. Uh, We're going to do that for Denzel. another one, but <laughs> and Denzel? Hey, look, I don't know. Like, no, I, I can't even do it, bro. But go ahead and give me your No, point. no, no, no. What's your third reason? My third He has an award under his belt. He has an award under his belt. Michael B. Jordan doesn't? I'm pretty sure he does. I'm pretty sure he does, but it's not to the standard of like the um the highest Yours is best supporting actor. Like think of like Is that the award you're talking about? Think of like somebody getting the BET award and then the guy over here got a Grammy. But you got best supporting actor. Yeah. So basically it's like you were featured on a song, you were a part of it, and your part is what made the song so good, mm -hmm. type of thing. But it's still not your song. It's my, it's about me. That the award, it's not your spotlight, but you the reason. The award that I got was a, a biopic about the rat that uh, took that eventually like took out me, like the um, Fred Hampton. Dan Kalu played Fred Hampton. I got the supporting actor award because I'm, I'm saying I. Right. It's not <laughs> I like know, me, but I I'm know. just saying like he got it because he was so good. It, he right. portrayed it really hey, well. I, I and you're, you. So you're saying that he was so good that he got that award, and then Sanfield didn't. Sanfield. Oh no! Yeah, he didn't get it. Okay. All right. I have, All right. I have, I have so, three okay. points. Okay. So I thought about what you said, the sex appeal. Okay. So there were some. Projects that Michael B. Jordan was involved in before he had the sex appeal. I'm gonna need y'all to go look up The Wire. I know y'all know the show Power. The, the, there is no power without the show The Wire. The Wire has won numerous awards. This show also had Idris Elba in it. Idris Elba in I forgot the dude's name, but he has a scar on his face. Y'all may know who I'm talking. I know about. you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was in it. Okay, that was a monumental show. And Michael B. Jordan was a teenager when he was on that show. This is before his sex appeal. This man acted his tail off. I believe that he was a brother from the streets. I believe that he was a brother from the streets. I believe that he was was the guy in his role. That is a very monumental show because it shows you the real. It shows you what really goes on in the projects. And he played his role to the ability to the best of his ability. He's not from the projects pretty obvious he's not from there but watching that show i believe that he was from the projects so he has that under his belt this is why he's a teenager daniel columbia doing whatever he was in monumental shows in his in, in his teenage years he fast forward a little bit this man was also on a show known as friday night lights i, I want to stop you real quick just to go back to the show uh is the show monumental because of him though and his acting ability? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Alone, not alone. Not alone. But like, is he the main reason that show is? He's he's one what of the it main, is, or is it the, the show? Main, he's one of the main reasons because. Spoiler alert! Are y'all going to see the show? But it's been out for a minute. Okay. Well, he, so you he, good? He he died in the show, and there was a lot of emotion in his death because he really played his role to the best of his ability. I really believe that there was connection between him and the other people that live in the projects when bro they had to take out they had to take out their boy. They had to take him out. Bro, they had to take out their best friend. I felt the connection between him and his friends. Okay. So you're trying to say that because he he about the guy. He got he had, <laughs> his talent was outweighing his sex appeal uh, back, before. Back, back then, back okay. then. he didn't he right. he didn't have sex appeal or he, he definitely didn't back then. Okay, no, what's but, your, I mean, just keeping it book. What's I mean, your second? But he's young. You know? All right, yeah. What's your second point? All right, so we look at we look at the monumental movies he's been in. So that was a monumental show. I didn't even bring up Friday Night Lights, which was a monumental show. It was a sports football show that he was in, that he starred in. But I'll go to movies. Monumental movies. Fruitville Station, one of the best black films of all time. I kid you not. Based off a true story, he played his role. I really believe that he was, I really believe that he was that person. 
That is a very, very, very good movie. Don't spoil it for me because I haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was trying to okay. keep it. That's why I was trying to keep it. I believe you there. I believe I've so many. I'm gonna have so to many, trust you on that one too. I've heard so many right. good things about that, bro. Bro, so Creed, you know. bro. The right. tra- the transformation, bro. It's a lot that goes into acting, being a boxer. It's a lot that goes into that. Just just to get in shape. Like not everybody can get. There's being in shape and there's being in boxing shape. This man got in tip top shape to play a boxer, and. This man obviously he not have no formal boxing training. It was good because it was believable. It actually felt like he was a boxer. It actually felt like throughout the movie he was getting better as the movie went on. His acting. Well, well no, I'm, I'm, jo- saying, I'm, I'm joking. Saying, I'm saying, joking. You know his his <laughs> yeah. bo- his boxing skills. Yeah, I got you. They got better as he went on because he was working with Rocky Balboa and all them, mm-hmm. or whatever. I believed it. Bro, I believe, bro, bro, this man, this man was from the streets on there too, and he got adopted. You know what I'm saying? And I felt the, I felt the rawness. Bro, okay, so that, that's that's <clears throat> not that's not that's not easy. So let me ask you this: to do a role like that, the roles that you've seen Daniel Kaluuya play, did you not believe them? Did did I not believe them? Yes. Oh, oh I, I I would say yeah, I believe them. Did you? No, but no, do no. You, Give us your third point, real quick. Give us your third. That point. was his third point. Oh, that was his third. No, I that think, was the second. I think, I think, I think that was the second. But oh, I thought your Fruitvale Station was your second point. My fault. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Fruitvale Station. If you got another one. Go ahead. If you got another Fruitvale one, Station. Ahead. I didn't even get to Black Panther yet, bro. Y'all cannot tell me, Chadwick Boseman rest his, rest in peace, rest in paradise. But y'all not gonna tell me the movie would have been as good if he wasn't in it. It wouldn't have been as good. If somebody else played his role, I don't believe that it would, would have been as good. There's so many quotables that he had that he has himself in that movie. Can you tell hey, me? Hey, auntie. I know y'all remember that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know y'all remember that. The bury me, bury me in the jungle with my aunt, bury me in the slave ships with my ancestors. Quotable. I ain't gonna in, lie. The impact. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? What? I didn't really think that role was that hard. Yeah, I didn't think that role was that crazy. But now well, that you're well, you, now that you're putting it in perspective, I feel like because I was like anybody could have played that role. Okay. But now that you're well, putting you, it in perspective, give me somebody then. That, that's what I'm saying. I'm t- I'm telling you, <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> okay, okay. <yeah. laughs> this is gonna this is gonna determine it right here because you're we we can argue that who's better at acting. Okay, this is kind of just like sports too. Yeah, that's true. Show me the show me the acclaims, the facts. No, show me the acclaims, the stats, like, the trophies. Like yeah, the like, give me the. But can we really go off of that? Because <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Look it up. Look it up. No, no, I, I, no. I'm, I'm just, just serious. Like, just let me just look it up real quick. Because I don't know if Michael B got some. <laughs> you said, bro. Just said. Right. I'm, 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 gonna, gonna, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna say one he thing. He said he want the cold I'm gonna heart. Say, I'm gonna say one thing that's gonna debunk all that. All right, what's up? Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't. Know. We're talking about young black actors. Only has but listen. <laughs> We're talking about young black okay, actors. Okay, I'm, I'm getting back to it. Du- He's a good actor, right? Mm-hmm. An amazing actor. Yes. Only has one Grammy. I mean, not one. One Oscar. One. For what? In his entire career. But he has so many. Wait, for what, though? Uh, I think The Revenant was the movie. Uh, I don't even know. He has so is. many other acclaims, though. But that was the main one he was trying to reach. I get what you're saying. But he has so many other acclaims. Oh, so you're not just talking about Oscars. You're talking, I'm about, not talking about every I'm talking type about of award. Like acclaims. Like those are the top. Like I'm gonna let you know. Like the Oscar, Golden Globes. Uh, we're not it? talking about nominations Baftas. either. We talking we're talking about, about wins. All right, all right. Talking about wins. All right. So hey, you want me to just look at the number? Yeah, so let's see how- awards and nominations. He had 26 nominations, 10 wins. Michael for B. Who? For Daniel Kuhnley. Okay. <laughs> now, now you don't want to know. Now you don't want to say his name. You said twenty six and ten, right? 10, yeah. uh, 10 out of twenty six. Yes. That's 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 pretty good. Yeah. Let me go. Let me go back. Michael B might surprise me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, especially that the, the wire. Yeah, I didn't even like the wire. Oh, he might have won something for that. 
I know he did. I know he got probably got some for food though. Perry about to fudge the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> nah, y'all, y'all can look at. He gonna it. go on Wikipedia and edit it, and then be like, Nah, man, it's right here. <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay, let's see. What we got. It's gonna be like eleven. Nah, I'm no, trying it's to really one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. This is why it's taking him so long. You changing it? Nah, his his came his came right his came right up. What's look, going it's, on? look, it's look. You know how you enter something and it says like, sorry, nothing, nothing is coming up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nothing's yeah. coming up. Right there. If it came right up, what's taking you so long? Oh my uh, god! Academy, because his just came straight up. <laughs> <laughs> he can't stop me. Goddamn! All right, all right, here we go. Let's here, go. Here we Yo, go. he's sweating. Look. Uh, all right. Y'all ready for this? Most improved. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> Let's go. Brad, this is from IMDb.com. So he I'm gotta, not cat- why you gotta get the source? <laughs> where, but you didn't get where the was his from? The where, 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 where was his from? No, definitely he... from. Let, I'm gonna search this. I'm gonna search his on here too. Okay. 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 I, I was so about to say, like, cool. hold up. 41, so 71 nominations, 41 wins. Okay, now you, now you got to do his. Okay. All right. Because you, you doing it too. You doing it too, man. Right, I was like, I what's taking so long? He went from what website he to another. He said 42 wins? Yeah, 71 nominations, 42 wins. Okay, 71, 42. That's pretty accurate. I'm so this is probably do. like every award? This is what we're yeah, going to do now. I mean, I'm going to make sure I, I. Yeah, there we go. This is what we're going to do now, though. What? Right? I was say, what awards is this? Ooh. Mm. I'm going to write this down. So this website, we're we just going to use this website because it makes it more in- interesting. It says 73 nominations, 41 wins. For so, Daniel? Yes. So what did you say for wow. yours? 42 out of 71? Yeah. And then Daniel had what? Uh, 41 out of 70, 73. Wow. Yeah, yo, what we, the, what, hey, yo, look, that's like hold on, crazy. hold on. So this is what I'm gonna do, because you know what I'm saying in basketball, right? If you shoot a hundred shots, if you make fifty shots, but you shoot a hundred, you you only fifty percent, right? So I'm gonna do the math real quick. You okay. coming? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, it's about right there though. Yeah, they they right there at each other. That, they right there. That's this, wild. This is a good website. <laughs> Loki, that make it a little more interesting. So 40, 42 divided by seventy one. That's gonna give me decimal fifty nine. All right, just give us the end result. <laughs> you don't got it. Twenty one minus two plus three <laughs> times one. Use the end result. Divided by the zero. end result is that. <clears throat> <clears throat> what was it? Are we going by percentage? By percentage. By about three percent. Decimal decimal zero three percent. Dang! Not percent, just decimal zero three. By about that much, the winner is mm. Michael B. Jordan. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! Perry, was you was you glad? Or... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! I'm happy. He said, "Oh, he said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, that was hey, that was good. But that information made it clear for me. They they right there." They right there, Eddie. All right, y'all. This was definitely a banger for season four, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. T Rezzo, appreciate y'all for joining Straight Chemistry Podcast season four. This was definitely a banger. This was definitely a lot of fun. Like, oh, that was the wrong one. My bad. Like, <laughs> like I said, hey, they both looked right though. <laughs> oh, they did. <laughs> they did. Like I said at the beginning of the video. You can find us on YouTube, <laughs> but you can also find us on audio streaming platforms as well. Y'all gonna let me go? No, but it's like... <laughs> no, go ahead. I feel like you gotta add to it. Because Tristan kept me in Russ. You said, like I said. <laughs> uh, I, I don't mean nothing by it. I know. It's, that's it's, what... I just, be, I just be making stuff funny, bro. I don't know. That might be a Pisces thing. I don't know. Like, I might do something. Niggas be like, damn, nigga, is you mad? Nah, nah. I know you <laughs> wasn't. I know you wasn't. I didn't, but, I didn't either, but, um, you can find us on all. <laughs> <laughs> you can find us on YouTube, but you can find us on all audio streaming they platforms. They okay? heard it at the beginning. You can find us on 
Spotify, Let's go. we're on it. Google Podcasts, we're on it. Apple Podcasts, we're on it. We're on all them things. Audio streaming platforms, we're on it as well. Let's get it. Follow us on social media. You may get a follow back on Maybe. IG. Maybe. Twitter. Facebook. Maybe. All right. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And TikTok bell. as well. We're on TikTok. Subscribe so. to that YouTube. Finna be Snapchat. I ain't playing with you. So go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go ahead. Go ahead and enjoy. Subscribe. Hit it. Go ahead and enjoy. It's For right our there. Listeners, subscribe on Spotify. It's subscribe literally right there. On all audio streaming platforms. Where's wherever you get your podcasts. But this definitely was a banger. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Straight Chemistry Podcast Season 4. We got a lot of wonderful things. Exciting things. A lot of wonderful things coming. Exciting. But let's go ahead and get out here, y'all. He mad at Michael B. I already know. He mad. He mad. Because <laughs> he know Daniel. Eh, Daniel's a good actor, though. Yeah.